Donald Trump has visited a McDonald's franchise in Pennsylvania on Sunday, working the drive through and manning the fire while he answered questions from reporters. The former president took a moment to boast about his time in office and sarcastically congratulated Kamala Harris on her 60th birthday. The visit was meant to be a jab at opponent Harris, who worked at the fast food chain while at college. Trump has frequently called the experience into question without providing any evidence. Meanwhile, Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and owner of X, hosted a town hall in Pittsburgh in support of Mr. Trump. In a short speech, Mr. Musk repeated false and fear-mongering claims, telling those attending that the Constitution is literally under attack. There is more in this report. U.S. presidential candidates Donald Trump and Kamala Harris have spent weeks rallying supporters as the world looks forward to the U.S. presidential election. At a McDonald's in suburban Philadelphia, an employee showed Trump how to dunk baskets of fries in oil, sort them and put them in boxes using a scoop. Vice President Kamala Harris attended services and spoke at the New Birth Missionary Baptist Church outside Atlanta. In the video circulated on social media, Kamala Harris is seen addressing a group of students at the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, before being interrupted by a student who asked her to speak about the genocide in Gaza. That our strength is not based on who we beat down, as some would try and suggest. Our strength is based on who we lift up. And that spirit is very much at stake in these next 16 days, which is are we a country that honors, through our faith and our deeds, the importance of kindness, of, of, of support, of understanding the dignity in each other, the respect that we should have for each other? Billionaire Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and owner of X, hosted a town hall in Pittsburgh in support of former President Donald Trump. He encouraged Republicans to vote in this election. The tech CEO tweeted to more than 200 million followers that he is offering a million dollars daily to registered Pennsylvania voters who sign his pro-Trump petition. So please uh, definitely talk to friends, family, acquaintances, everyone you meet, um, and, and, and just, just get them to, to mail it in or, or put it in a drop box, and you can even hand it in in person. So you can actually go in person uh, tomorrow and hand in your ballot. So you can be super sure it gets there immediately. Uh, so if, you, if people don't want to mail it today or use a Dropbox, they can literally hand it in in person tomorrow. Meanwhile, former U.S. President Donald Trump criticized Joe Biden and his administration's foreign policy failure for the wars on multiple fronts, saying that if he were president, the October 7 attack on Israel wouldn't have happened. Trump addressed his cognitive state, saying he has passed two tests administered by doctors. Additionally, he said he has always supported the idea of a presidential and vice presidential candidate needing to pass cognitive tests in order to run for office. I've done cognitive tests. I've done them twice, and I aced both of them. And the doctor in one case said, I've never seen anybody ace them. They've never seen anybody ace them. But I'd like to see cognitive tests for anybody running for president or vice president. I think it's important in a way. Donald Trump's vice president also held a rally addressing Kamala Harris' recent interviews, calling them all soft-born press appearances. J.D. Vance targeted a character calling her petty and saying she's not driven by love for this country.